Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio. So today, we need to look at a new Tauros card. A Tauros card that initially I looked at it and I went, eh, seems kind of okay. And then I started actually really looking and really having a think about it. And you know what? The more I looked at it, the more I thought, goodness gracious me, that looks absolutely amazing. And I'm actually re-recording this intro because I was going to do other stuff in this video. and It's just turned into a Tauros video because I genuinely believe the Tauros is that gosh darn good. It might shock you to hear that our translations here come from the lovely Antoine Boulet. Because, you know... We love Antoine, quite frankly. And what we've got here is 130 HP. I mean, as we're going to see with this Pokemon, the more HP, the better. But also, there's a lot of Pokemon that naturally hit 120. It's one of those key numbers. So having 130 is pretty awesome. Retreat cost of 2 means that you do get free retreat with Air Balloon, which is quite nice. And weakness to fighting is honestly not great. Because fighting is a pretty good type generally at the moment anyway. Then you add in all of those pesky Urshifu. And goodness knows what else will be coming down the pipeline. Shall we say, um, it's not ideal if we're honest. But you are a colorless Pokemon, which actually gives you basically like no advantages. But you do get powerful colorless energy. You're not hitting anything for weakness, but you do get powerful colorless energy. So it ain't all bad. Now, there is one attack here that I am particularly excited about, and it is Raging Bull. Two colorless energy, 20 damage, plus 20 more for each damage counter on this Pokemon. And then this Pokemon becomes confused. But as for the confusion, just don't, don't even worry about it. I mean, there's a million Pokemon we've seen over the years that can't attack next turn. Well, like Zash and V, for instance. Well, if all of those Pokemon are fine and they can't attack next turn, you can attack, but you're confused isn't something that should worry you even a little bit. And the thing is, in terms of outrage, this is kind of Tauros's bag. You know, we saw Tauros GX. Now, admittedly, we've not had that many in the past few years, but we had Tauros GX which had 20 damage, plus 10 more for each damage counter on it, which, incidentally, that was a GX. Okay, it had 50 more HP, which also means more of a... Well, more damage counter, so you can do more damage in that way. But it was plus 10 for each damage counter, not plus 20. So, believe me when I say, this is just better. Although, to be fair, they also had the GX attack, which is 30 times, which is obviously amazing. And then we had the Tauros from Team Up, which looked good, but we never actually managed to get it working. Which did 10 damage base and 10 more for each damage counter on all of your Tauros and Tauros GX. Never ended up being good, but it was a fun idea while it lasted. Well, here, this is just better, alright? This is just better. And there are multiple reasons for it, but chief among them... It's a single strike Pokemon. And I'm sure you noticed that, all right? But let me say it now. You're a single strike Pokemon. And one of the great things about this means single strike energy. Single strike energy, of course, being an energy that lets you do an extra 20 damage. And doing extra damage is good. But it's not just the single strike energy. It's also the Houndoom, which lets you attach one from your deck. And energy acceleration from the deck is always amazing. And you put two damage counters on the Pokemon to which you have accelerated energy. Which generally is not a great idea. But when we're talking about a Pokemon with an outrage attack like Tauros here. That 20 damage is an extra 40 damage that you're hitting. Except actually it's an extra 60 because you put a single strike energy on there. So basically you use Houndoom's ability. And all of a sudden you're hitting an extra 60 damage. Yeah. Oh, and this might also be a pretty good time to remind you that in the format at the moment, yes, we do have Giant Cape. And yes, Giant Cape will absolutely survive the next rotation. It's not called Giant Cape, though, is it? It's called Cape of Toughness. There we go. It was in Darkness Ablaze, which means that it will very much survive the rotation we're expecting in, well, about six weeks after this comes out. 
which gives you an extra 50 HP because you're a basic Pokemon. And to be blunt, this is perfect. Because you see, with a Cape of Toughness, this actually just becomes Tauros GX. Two energy, outrage attack on 180 HP Pokemon. Except it gives up one prize, not two. And it's actually got a lower retreat cost, which is genuinely relevant. And also it's 20 more for each damage counter rather than 10. Fine, you lose the great GX attack. But other than that, oh boy, I love it. This is cool. And the thing is, you can use powerful colorless energy here. That would work. But honestly, what you really want is just Houndoom and Single Strike Energy. If you've got two Houndoom on the field, and do remember that Houndoom is not limited to once during your turn, then you accelerate two energy onto there. And then all of a sudden, you've got four damage counters, which means you're hitting 60 damage. Plus the two Single Strike Energy, you're now doing 100 damage. And do remember that Urn of Vitality means you can recover these single strike energy so although you know it's a special energy they're limited to four in your deck it's not the terrible loss when they get discarded that it often is for other special energy so a lot of special energy there is absolutely no way you could justify putting two onto a pokemon here i mean unless it was you know really huge here you're fine with it because if they get discarded you'll just get them back and life will be good and here I am just talking about damage that you're doing with, like, Houndoom. This is not a including any damage your opponent might do to you. Of course, your opponent a lot of the time will go, ha ha ha, joke's on you. I'm not attacking and letting you do extra damage back to me. But the only part of that sentence you really need to hear is, I'm not attacking. If it's forcing your opponent to do things they wouldn't rather do, or not do things they would rather do, depending how you look at it. That's still a victory for you, ladies and gentlemen. And things are starting to come up very, very nicely. Then, of course, you've got the combos. And clearly here, I am thinking a combo with my boy Donphan. Because Donphan does 120 for a single energy. But you have to do 20 damage to each of your benched Pokemon. Well, great news, ladies and gentlemen. Tauros will take that nicely. And here's the thing, right? If you're not going down the single strike route, you, you can just use twin energy. Incidentally, the 130 here is huge because it means a Don Fan attacking six times will not quite KO. It'll leave you with 10 HP remaining, which is perfect. And I know that in that situation, your opponent's probably going to drop a Galarian Zigzagoon if they can, blah, blah, blah. If you're thinking like that, you're missing the point. The point is, there are so many different ways you can actually start playing around and having a little bit of fun with this. You can use it in a single strike deck with Houndoom. You can use it in a Donphan deck. Or any deck that damages yourself. You can just put it up there to force your opponent to either set themselves up for a beating next turn, or not attack and save you a turn i adore this now there is a second attack i haven't mentioned it yet there's a good reason two energy 80 damage 30 to itself i'd lie to you ladies and gentlemen this is actually great like genuinely legitimately great and the reason is incredibly simple it's 80 damage for one energy on a basic Pokemon. When I say one energy, I'm referring to twin energy. Yeah, fine, you can hit heads on a turbo patch, and then it becomes a single energy attack. Or, you can use Mustard, if it's the only card in your hand, to play a Houndoom straight from your deck, and then attach an energy. There are awkward uh, ways, and yes, that was deliberate, I was trying to be funny, to actually get this rolling. But really here... It's just twin energy. And I love it. Because in a deck like Donphan, I have no plan if I'm going second. If I'm going second, there's nothing I really want to do. Because there's no attack I want to use. Here, 80 damage will do loss. It will get the vast majority of evolving Pokemon. It'll get Pokemon like Galarian Zigzagoon. Support Pokemon like Jirachi. Yes, I know Jirachi is rotating out. But don't forget there's a decent chance that people might still be playing 
Girachi. And that's kind of my point here. I mean, you do 30 to yourself, that's not ideal, blah, 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 nobody cares. What I am loving here is that we've actually genuinely got a turn one, going second, option to smash. I had to re-record the intro to this video because the more I talked about Tauros, the more I loved Tauros. When I first looked at it, I went, ah, it's a nice little tech, it'll be quite good. And actually, the second attack is great, turn one going second. The first attack is really good in a single strike deck. And it's really good in a deck like Donphan. In terms of a basic Pokemon that you're using to support and be that genuinely viable alternate attacker in your deck, it is hard to get much better than this. I'm giving it between four and five Wossies and honestly... My heart calls it a five Wossy card. Obviously, we don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. I love this. I think, and I will need to go and check the record here. I think this just became my favorite card from Sword and Shield 6 that we've seen so far. Now, I do like that Lycan Rock. And the more I think about it, the more I like Malamar. I'm going to probably do a follow-up video to Malamar in the future. But I think Tauros might just be my favorite. Because I'm thinking about Tauros Donphan. And I'm thinking it sounds good. But I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, And Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv. Slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.